All right, guys. So could we have the ultimate, the ultimate Sadrat Boise killer on our hands? Hmm. Let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on this channel. If you don't know by now, man, I talk about fragrances as well as fashion because I believe that you should look good and smell good every day. So if you're into looking good and smelling good, which I really hope that you are, then subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well so that way when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys. Look, I'm going to go ahead and run the intro, but I have a fragrance on my hand. Of course, it's a clone that smells really, really, really close to a fragrance that I love. And I'm talking about this one, Sidrat Boise, from the house of man, Sarah. All right, so we've had the Creed stuff, the Aventus stuff. We've had the Baccarat Route 540. We've done a lot of fragrances. Angel Share, never Sidrat Boise. So how does this fragrance stack up to the aforementioned Sidrat Boise? Let's run the intro. We'll come back and we'll talk about it. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So again, I really enjoy Cedrat Boise from Mancera. I enjoyed this one. I also enjoy the new Cedrat Boise Intense fragrance as well. A fragrance that has always done well for me, gotten a lot of compliments. Now, a lot of people, of course, compare Cedrat Boise to Creed Aventus. And again, I can kind of understand where people were coming from. There's a, maybe a slight resemblance. <clears throat> but to me, this has always kind of gone in a different direction. This fragrance is really about the nice, that kind of lemony citrus opening with the leather on the dry down. Now, Creed Aventus has birch, but again, that's a whole nother topic of conversation for another day. But needless to say, this is a fragrance that I really enjoy. So I was very interested when I heard about the fact that there was a clone of Cedrat Boise. All right. And this fragrance comes from the uh, Aroma, con Aroma con Concepts. Of course, Paris's Corner. You guys have heard me talk about that before. So the gentleman that runs that particular company reached out to me because he saw some videos where I talked about a lot of these fragrances. Um, the Angel Share clone is one that sticks out in my mind. I felt like they did a really good job of capturing the essence of those fragrances. So now we have this fragrance. It is called Sidrat Essence, and here is the bottle. I must admit, guys, I really do like this bottle. I love that kind of lime or almost mint green juice in the bottle. Again, the bottle is very stately, so the presentation is really nice on this fragrance. Now, it doesn't look anything like Sidrat Boise as far as the presentation. And you guys know that some of their fragrances, they go all the way in. Is not only do they really replicate the fragrance itself, but they replicate the bottle as well. Here they just kind of use a part of the name. So you do have the Sidrat as a part of the name, Sidrat Essence. Now, when I looked at the note breakdown for both of these fragrances, the note breakdowns were 100% identical. All right? 100% identical. Um, let me see, just so I can kind of read them off to you guys. Both of them have Sicilian Lemon. Black currant, bergamot, spicy notes up top, uh, fruity notes, patchouli, uh, water, jasmine in the middle. And we also have, of course, the cedarwood, leather, sandalwood, vanilla, white musk, and moss on the base. The exact same note breakdown. Now, so how does this fragrance, in my humble opinion, really stack up to Cedrat Boise? Well, I have it on my hand right now, and from really, um, and I did wear it yesterday as well so i can get a full wearing out of it so i want to just kind of compare them and kind of tell you honestly how i feel about this as it compares to Sidrat Boise. it's about a 80 to 85 percent similar fragrance so although they have the exact same note that note breakdowns the notes don't develop or play out the exact same way on my skin and that's not necessarily a bad thing this wears a lot lighter 
than Sadrat Boise. When Sadrat Boise um, actually starts to really dry down, I get a lot of cedar wood and a lot of leather in that fragrance. And again, for me, that's what really made it so different from Creed Aventus. Um, the resemblance to Creed Aventus was that smokiness because that leather gives off a slight smoky vibe. But leather smells different from uh, birch wood that you find in Creed Aventus. Now, the thing about this fragrance is I don't get a whole lot of that leather. I really don't get much leather at all. This one really uh, amplifies in the base the vanilla sandalwood combination with this slight, and I'm not able to quite put my note, my uh, finger on it or my nose on it, spiciness, and I'm not really sure what it's coming from. But this plays more on the vanilla sandalwood on the dry down, whereas that really goes with cedar wood and leather. So although the opening of these fragrances are very, very similar, I get a little bit more of an alcohol blast with this one. Um, but when they really start to dry down after about 10 minutes on into the dry down, there's a resemblance to Cedrat Boise, but it's not as close as it is in the opening. Like I said, the dry down on this goes in more of a vanilla sandalwood combination, so it's a little bit sweeter. And again, you kind of get this, this slight, uh, almost generic spicy kick from it. And like I said, I don't know what that's coming from. But it definitely smells good. Now, as far as performance, one of the things I've always loved about Cedrat Boise is the fact that I get a good seven to eight hours of really solid performance out of this fragrance. Now, this one, I got about four and a half to five hours of complete longevity. And again, guys, here's the thing about it. When you look at the price of the fragrance, it's not really anything you can really complain about. Right now on the website, and I'll make sure I link it down below, uh, if you guys want to check it out right now on the website this fragrance is only uh it's 65 dollars and they're giving you 20 dollars off so it's 45 bucks then i'm thinking if i'm not mistaken you use my code which i think is d hill let me make sure i tell you the right code yeah the code is d hill 10. so if you use that code you'll get an extra 10 percent off so again so if you're looking at paying around with tax maybe 40 bucks for this fragrance I know you can find us a drop was a discounted for around uh, between that 80 to 100, $110 mark. But if you're looking at $40 and you get something that's about 80% similar to Sadrap Boise, hey, I say, you know, if it's a fragrance that you really like, Sadrap Boise, you'll probably really like this one as well, obviously, because it smells so close to it, especially in the opening of the fragrance. Like I said, it smells great, guys. You know, I don't think you would could really go wrong with it, especially at that price point. So, like I said, if you want to check it out, make sure I link it down below, Aroma Concepts. And, of course, use the code DHEAL10, and you'll save 10% off if you choose to check it out. But that is it, guys. That is my time. Again, look at this bottle, man. That bottle is gorgeous. I got to give it up for the bottle. That is gorgeous. But anyway, man, that's my time. I thank you guys for indulging me. As I kind of compared and contrasted the new Sudra Essence from the Aroma Concepts line. Uh, and of course, one of my favorite fragrances right here, which is Sudra Boise from Mancera. Have any of you guys tried this fragrance out yet? Sudra Essence. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Just kind of give me your opinion on the fragrance if you tried it. And as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information. Find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you. On the flip side, peace.